count your age by friends. Not years count your life by smiles. Not tears. Time you enjoy wasting. Was not wasted. It was like being in the eye of a hurricane. You'd wake up in a concert and think. Wow. How did I get here? You either get tired fighting for peace. Or you die. When I was about 12 I used to think I must be a genius. But nobody's noticed. If there is such a thing as a genius. I am one. And if there isn't I don't care. All we are saying is give peace a chance. The more real you get. The more unreal everything else is. I believe in everything until it's disproved. So I believe in fairies. The myths. Dragons. It all exists. Even if it's in your mind. Who's to say that dreams and nightmares aren't as real as the here and now? A dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream you dream together is reality. Yeah we all shine on. Like the moon. And the stars. And the sun. One thing you can't hide, is when you're crippled inside. You don't need anybody to tell you who you are or what you are. You are what you are. I'm not going to sacrifice love. Real love. For any fucking whore or any friend. Or any business. Because in the end you're alone at night. When you do something noble and beautiful and nobody noticed. Do not be sad. For the sun every morning is a beautiful spectacle and yet most of the audience still sleeps. My role in society. Or any artist's or poet's role. Is to try and express what we all feel. Not to tell people how to feel. Not as a preacher. Not as a leader. But as a reflection of us all. Life is what happens while you are busy making other plans. Music is everybody's possession. It's only publishers who think that people own it. Our society is run by insane people for insane objectives. I'm not afraid of death because I don't believe in it. It's just getting out of one car. And into another. If someone thinks that love and peace is a cliché that must have been left behind in the 60s. That's his problem. Love and peace are eternal. The basic thing nobody asks is why do people take drugs of any sort? Why do we have these accessories to normal living to live? I mean. Is there something wrong with society that's making us so pressurized? That we cannot live without guarding ourselves against it? Imagine all the people living life in peace. You may say I'm a dreamer. But I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us. And the world will be as one. Reality leaves a lot to the imagination. If everyone demanded peace instead of another television set. Then there'd be peace. It's fear of the unknown. The unknown is what it is. And to be frightened of it is what sends everybody scurrying around chasing dreams. Illusions. Wars. Peace. Love. Hate. All that it's all illusion. Unknown is what it is. Except that it's unknown and it's plain sailing. Everything is unknown then you're ahead of the game. That's what it is. Right? Everybody loves you when you're six foot in the ground. Love is the answer. And you know that for sure, love is a flower. You've got to let it grow. I believe in God. 
but not as one thing. Not as an old man in the sky. I believe that what people call God is something in all of us. I believe that what Jesus and Mohammed and Buddha and all the rest said was right. It's just that the translations have gone wrong. There are two basic motivating forces. Fear and love. When we are afraid. We pull back from life. When we are in love. We open to all that life has to offer with passion. Excitement. And acceptance. We need to learn to love ourselves first. In all our glory and our imperfections. If we cannot love ourselves. We cannot fully open to our ability to love others or our potential to create. Evolution and all hopes for a better world rest in the fearlessness and open-hearted vision of people who embrace life. Everything is clearer when you're in love. Possession isn't nine-tenths of the law. It's nine-tenths of the problem. Being honest may not get you a lot of friends but ITLL always get you the right ones. It doesn't matter how long my hair is or what color my skin is or whether I'm a woman or a man. Love is a promise. Love is a souvenir. Once given never forgotten. Never let it disappear. We've got this gift of love. But love is like a precious plant. You can't just accept it and leave it in the cupboard or just think it's going to get on by itself. You've got to keep watering it. You've got to really look after it and nurture it. Limitless undying love which shines around me like a million suns it calls me on and on across the universe. When you're drowning. You don't say I would be incredibly pleased if someone would have the foresight to notice me drowning and come and help me. You just scream. Surrealism had a great effect on me because then I realized that the imagery in my mind wasn't insanity. Surrealism to me is reality. When I was five years old. My mother always told me that happiness was the key to life. When I went to school. They asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. I wrote down happy. They told me I didn't understand the assignment. And I told them they didn't understand life. It matters not who you love. Where you love. Why you love. When you love or how you love. It matters only that you love. <laughs>